Hello, I'm Chris Holmstrom and this is The Rundown. Crews are hoping cooler weather will help them make more progress on the sheep fire burning in Wrightwood. Nearly 1,000 acres have burned so far and it's only 5% contained. Mandatory evacuations are in place. And two women were killed in Compton and it appears to be tied to an illegal sideshow. Investigators say the takeover had ended when a vehicle ran a red light and crashed into another car. They think one woman could have been one of the drivers. Former First Lady Michelle Obama is in L.A. to deliver the keynote address at the Culture of Democracy Summit. It's happening today at Bank of California Stadium in Exposition Park. The gathering focuses on strengthening democracy through voter registration, education and culture change. Now, here's meteorologist Amber Lee with your forecast. Amber. All right, so we are waking up to a thick layer of marine clouds. That means that June gloom is in full force. So I would say your hot beverage today, make it a medium because we are talking temperatures a little closer to normal once the clouds clear 75 degrees. And it's all because of a low pressure system that's keeping things a little cooler. High pressure begins to move in starting tomorrow, staying with us through the end of the week. And then we're cooling down as we head into this upcoming weekend, just in time for Father's Day. Here's a quick look at our seven day forecast. We do have some drizzle to tell you about, especially near the coast. Temperatures a little closer to normal today and then warming up as we head toward the middle of the week before things slowly start to cool back down for Father's Day. All right. Thanks, Amber. Remember, we're always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch us free on our CBS News app or Pluto TV. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Have a great afternoon, everyone.